this question I'm getting a lot of comments that how did I remove the front sprocket without the front sprocket tool all right so I'm going to show you guys that real quick all right because this is the last video I'm actually going to do so I'm going to show them guys out there they're stating that you only need the two to remove the sprocket that's bs all right let me show you guys how i did my all right you guys see this bolt here all right this is the cover that used to be on the original bike of the um, bell drive uh, bell drive cover all right so i removed it i left this tool because i knew i was going to use it all right all right this is the same clamp i used originally to remove my front sprocket if you guys know on the front sprocket the bolt to remove it is the opposite side as the original bolt just because the chain drive moves forward all right so to remove it besides tighten you know how you tighten you go right and remove it left so it's the opposite remove right and tight left so this is where this bolt comes in handy and this is where the clamp the magic clamp starts this is how much you're gonna open it right here through I guess it's like an inch or so all right you're gonna put it between this bolt right between it all right you're gonna push it all the way to the top you see this gap here this is what I'm talking about so you're gonna put this one under one teeth and then this part in the top teeth just like this all right when you start removing your bolt it's gonna get stuck here because your whole um, sprocket is gonna move all right, it's gonna move forward. And then the top half is gonna get it stuck, which is not gonna go upwards more because you see this clamp is holding up. There you go, all right? That's, that's, that's it, that's it. This thing holds it down and this it ties it from, hold, from uh, you know, like it ties it between it. Turn it right, make sure you have the bike on the floor though. All right, don't have it in the air. Make sure you have it on the floor. You spin it right and there you go your sprocket is off you're gonna have to do it you know with maybe a pipe you're gonna use your ratchet if you got those long you know um ratchets that they have perfect just put a pipe between your ratchet if it's a short ratchet put your pipe and bam and that's it that's it that's a three like a five three second sprocket removal besides buying a 120 dollar tool this is the magic right here there you go Haters out there, I thought you couldn't remove the sprocket. There you go, right there, one, two, and three. All right, get stuck right there. All right, I'm done with that one.